Hello, everybody. So, some of you may not know, but YouTube, as of beginning of next year, is changing their terms of service to apply with the FTC, the COOPA Rules for the Child Protection Act. Meaning that anything that is intended for children will get no personalized ads, comments will be taken off, the community page will be gone, meaning no real revenue for the creators. Now, that it's like, okay, well, Butters is not intended for children. This channel is not intended for children. Sure, do kids watch? Possibly. But the thing is that the their new guidelines is very loose. Like people like who have played video games, like the video game creators. They're probably the ones, them and the animators are the ones that are going to be mostly affected by this. Because animation, apparently animation is only for kids. You have to click intended for kids on the little tab that they have in your creator studio. I clicked not intended for children. Hopefully I don't get in trouble because of that because animals apparently are, you know, for children. Children are attracted to animal videos. You're walking away from me. Rude. Okay, as you can see here, this is what's going on. How you set your channel, is it made for kids? I clicked no, it's not made for kids, not intended to be for kids. And if you don't click one of these, like this, then all your ch videos will automatically be set, meaning that they are made for children. Okay, and... Let's see, what's the content? That is made for children. Subject matter video educational content for preschoolers. Well, no. No, they are not intended, or the actual audience. My audience is majority over 18, only 4% are under 17. Child actors or models. Nope, I don't have children on my channel. Children characters, celebrities, or toys that appeal to children, including animated characters or cartoon figures. Well, now, I do have my little skits where I use my Barbies. You know, that could be appealing to children. I can't use that. Or my little fugglers, their little toys. It's like they're props. I see some people, this one, like, on here, it doesn't say pets, but I've seen, like, clips from other people's things saying pets are in the video. It can be appealing to children, and they will watch it. Therefore, you have to have it under as kids. Okay. So it's like cartoon figures, so what about, like, the cat files when I add, like, the little graphics? Because there's, I put in, like, little cartoonish-looking characters there, but it's not made for children. Cartoons aren't just for children. Like Family Guy, that's not for kids. Or Rick and Morty. Or South Park. Just saying. Language or video. Ugh. Whether the language of the video is intended for children to understand. So if you just say hello. Children can understand hello. Uh oh. Activities that appeal to children, such as play acting, simple songs, games, or early education. So, if I put any cutesy little music with his videos, or the videos that have cutesy music in it, suddenly, you know, it's for children. Yeah, see, this is my thing. My content is for a wide audience, but not just for kids specifically, because I don't make videos for children. I am not the babysitter. And apparently, if they find that you're wrongfully using the, um, system here, saying you're not for kids, and they think that you are for kids, you can get fined for it up to $40,000 per video. 
It says, as a creator, you know your content best. Yes, I know my content best, and that means that I know I'm not making it for babies. But yet, we will still pretty much fine you if we think otherwise. Okay. As you can see, my audience analytics, surprisingly, I mostly have male boys watching my stuff, so hello, Catman. Well, I shouldn't say boys. I mostly have men watching the videos. It's crazy. And here's the age. Only 4% are 13 to 17. My major people are 18 to 24 and 25 to 34. So mainly 18 to 34. And then I have... Goes into this category of older. So again, very, very few teens watching my videos. So again, obviously I'm not intended for children. Just because he's a cat does not make him... Yes, cats can be child friendly and they're friendly, but they're not... This is not made for little children. I also... I also want to add that in order to make a YouTube account, you have to be at least 13 years old. So... Kids shouldn't technically even be allowed on YouTube. So why are we being punished for something they're not even really supposed to be able to do? This is a parenting issue. Not our problem. Don't put it on the creators to be... You know, ugh, for all this. And there's a YouTube Kids app. Like, what is the point of that if... If, you know, you want stuff to be kid-friendly or... I don't know what the heck they're even going after. It's just like, it's, the more I think about it, the more confused I am. He's annoyed. I know, I'm annoyed too. I guess I'm going to stop censoring your butthole. Let me show your butthole. So, if... So, last year it's like, oh, you have to be friendly, friendly. You have to be friendly. Family friendly, friend. Oh my god, I can't even talk. I'm so annoyed. <clears throat> so you can't, you can't start around f bombs or any other, you know, curse words because you know children might be watching. It's supposed to be friendly family. You're gonna get demonetized. But now, if you are family friend friendly, oh, your means your videos are for children. Therefore, demonetized or almost demonetized. So ridiculous. Like, YouTube is killing itself right now. I hope it changes. Where are you going? Let's shake bubbles. I better hide what's on this bubble container because, you know, it's for children. Oh, bubbles are for children. Oh, there he is. You see that? Like, do I have to start getting vulgar in my channel or just saying a few cuss words here and there? Because, you know... If not, then it's gonna mean it's for kids because he's a cat and he's an animal and animals are, kids are, you know, attracted to animals. They appeal to animals. I mean, they appeal to children. Kids like animals. Oh my god, are you stalking me right now? You see, he's not afraid for children. He's a freaking murderer. He's killed a frog and left its dead body on the floor. I can see you in the camera. This is frustrating. There needs to be another platform as a real competitor to YouTube. So hopefully I won't be affected by this change. I don't know. See, this thing is very vague and that's what a lot of people are having a problem with, with is that it's very vague. The terms are loose. Like who knows who's actually going to be affected by this. Because it's like I do not make videos for kids. It's not intended for kids. Most of my viewer base, actually majority, if not all my viewer base, is adults. But who deems what is, you know, for children and who's not for children? You give it up. Come on. 
the little statue. Distracted by a vehicle outside. Beanie! Yes, this is frustrating. <clears throat> there it goes. Yeah, I don't know what's gonna happen. You can make sure to follow me on all his social medias. I do have Rumble Viral, which is another like video like licensing. What you call it site. I do have made a channel there in which I already had some of my videos licensed through them so I'll leave the link for that in the description I'll probably start having that in its as a default upload so I can almost like back up my videos in a way sense or at least I have a space for that because I don't know where we fall in this yeah, I think it's gonna hurt more of like gamers and animators more than anything. But it could harm the animal community too. And if not, then we'll probably be next because children like animals. So apparently that means animals are for children. And therefore, heaven forbid. Oh, Beanie. You're so cute. But don't be cute. Don't be cute. You're too child friendly. And apparently also like stuff like cereals. Like if you put on like sugary children like cereals on you know make videos with that. Oh no, you made for children. It's just so ridiculous. There is a change.org petition people have out there that you can sign to try and get this repealed. I want to think that it will change things but you know I doubt it let's hope we are not affected and let's hope that they do end up repealing this stupid law All right So yeah, be sure to follow Butters on all his other social medias to make sure you keep updated with us. And follow us along just in case we have to go elsewhere. Links for everything is in the description below. And we'll see you later, hopefully into the new year. Bye!